Google is building a whiteboard, Uber's self-driving trucks make their first delivery, AT&T announces a $35 TV subscription, and more. It's Tuesday, October 25th, and this is Crunch Report. Google announced a pretty surprising new hardware product today, the Jamboard, which is supposed to replace the whiteboards in your office conference room. It's a 55-inch 4K touchscreen display. You can draw on the board using the stylus and then erase it with your fingers. Jamboard runs on a specialized version of Android, and it comes with a built-in web browser and Google Maps. Plus, there's the possibility of opening it up to outside apps in the future. You can also use the Jamboard as a video display and access the files from your smartphone. It's supposed to cost less than $6,000, and Google plans to launch it next year. Just a couple of months ago, Uber acquired self-driving truck company Auto. That's Auto spelled with an O, by the way. Well, apparently Auto has made its very first delivery. It transported 50,000 cans of Budweiser beer from Fort Collins to Colorado Springs. It wasn't a completely automated trip because there was a human driver navigating through the city, but then the self-driving system took over for the 120 miles of the trip that were on the highway. Auto's technology allows the truck to keep a safe distance between itself and the cars ahead, and it only changes lanes when absolutely necessary. By the way, it's no secret that Uber is really, really interested in self-driving technology, but the company has said it will continue to run Auto as a separate brand. AT&T announced today that its upcoming streaming TV service, DirecTV Now, will only cost $35 per month. That's a little bit surprising since the company previously said that it would not be undercutting existing pay TV subscriptions, which, you know, usually cost quite a bit more than that. AT&T CEO Randall Stevenson discussed the service on stage at the Wall Street Journal Live conference where he said DirecTV Now will include more than 100 channels and allow subscribers to watch TV on their mobile devices. DirecTV Now is scheduled to launch in November. Twitter recently moved its next earnings announcement to early Thursday morning. That might not seem particularly interesting unless you're a Wall Street analyst or a tech journalist, but Bloomberg is reporting that there's a reason for the time change because the company will use the release to announce cuts of around 300 people. That's 8% of Twitter's workforce. And at TechCrunch, we've been hearing that the sales department might get hit particularly hard. You probably remember reports from the past few weeks that companies like Salesforce and Disney were looking at buying Twitter, but it seems like that's not going to happen, at least not right now, so the company needs to figure out another way forward. If you're the kind of driver who's always glancing at your phone, A, shame on you, and B, NavD might be the solution. It's a heads-up display for your windshield that shows you things like GPS routes, text messages, or the music that you're listening to, all hopefully without obscuring your view of the road ahead. NavD also comes with sensors so you can swipe your hand in front of the steering wheel to control the display. We first wrote about the device in 2014 when the company raised $2.5 million in crowdfunding. Now it's officially shipping with a steep price tag of $799. Stay tuned to TechCrunch for a full review in the next few days. That's the report for today. I'm Anthony Ha filling in for Tito Hamsey, who has this video update for us from South Korea. What's up, Anthony and TechCrunch land? This is the view from my hotel. That's all of South Korea over there. And look, down there, there's a temple that I can't even pronounce the name. But, uh... Having a lot of fun, eating good food, and getting ready for the pitch off on Thursday. All right, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Tito. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow.